Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. If you are new here, hi, my name is Nishita. On my channel, you will find a lot of product reviews, mainly foundation. I also post uh, makeup tutorials, you know, get ready with news all the time and also skincare sometimes. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button. In today's video, we are going to review a brand new foundation from NARS. Um, although I don't know if it's brand new and ever since I got back to filming uh, This is like a new uh, launch from them and I got a few requests in the comments saying that you guys wanted me to review this So that's what I'm going to be doing today uh, This is the NARS soft matte complete foundation uh, So I was just looking up online the shade rate on this is that I think you have 34 colors You know which I think uh, they could do better because we're post uh, Fenty right now and every brand is like, doing a minimum of 40 shades even drugstore ones these days so I really wish they would step up a notch so I got the shade Van Watu uh, I hope I'm saying that right I actually just googled how to pronounce this and that's what it said uh, so it's not my fault it's Google's fault if it's wrong uh, so this is 3.5 see I'm gonna be honest Online when I placed the order, uh, it looked a little bit darker than this, but especially when you look on the packaging, it looks way lighter than my skin tone. Um, this is how the shade looks like. You guys. I would say it's still a little bit lighter than my skin tone, but I'm really off my game lately. I'm not able to pick up like you know correct shade online, and it's not like I can go to the store right now. So this is what I have to work with. If you're closer to my skin tone, I'd say definitely go with the shade uh, darker than this. Probably, I'd say I was just looking at Syracuse might be a better match. But when I was in Arizona, I was doing with the shade Syracuse in all NARS foundations. But ever since I moved to California, I'm not tanning that much and all of my foundations that I bought in Arizona are dark for me. So that's why I decided to go a shade lighter and this might be way to like. Let me do a swatch. Yeah, you can see. <laughs> I definitely prefer a shade darker. So let's blend this out. Yeah. Looks like a white cast. Mm, my bad. This foundation is supposed to be a full coverage, transfer proof, oxidation resistant foundation that lasts up to 16 hours with a natural looking matte finish. This is supposed to be for all skin types. The highlighted ingredients are microalgae and biohyaluronic acid, which is going to help absorb excess sebum, thereby making you look less oily. We'll see about that. So I'm going to bring you guys in closer and start applying the foundation. On one side, like always, I'm going to use a beauty blender and on the other side, I'm going to use a kabuki brush. This is from Luxie 532. It's their round top blender and my beauty blender is dampened. So let's get started with the application. I'm gonna put you guys in closer. So this is where I blended the foundation in. Unfortunately, it's not oxidizing and it looks really light on my skin, which I'm not a big fan of. Um, well, we are off to a rough start there. Oh, also, I ordered a bunch of stuff from Rare Beauty uh, during the VIP sale. So I got the foundation, concealer, some lipsticks and blushers. And also second spray. So if you guys want me to do like a full dedicated review to the products that I got from Rare Beauty, please let me know in the comments down below. But for today, let's get started with the application. So I'm just going to use what I have on the back of my hand and use the brush and buff it out. I have to say, it has really good coverage. Oh. Bad shade choice, Mishta. Bad shade choice. Oh my god. It's looking even paler with the studio lights on. I feel like that blended out beautifully with little to no efforts at all. And I used a very good foundation, like whatever I had swatched on my hand. That's all I applied. And I feel like uh, it just spread it really beautifully on my skin. It feels very lightweight. But I will say this though, it is not a hydrating foundation. Like I have a moisturizer underneath and it feels okay, it doesn't feel too tight. But I could definitely use a little bit more hydration because that's what I'm into these days. So let's try with the dampened sponge on the side of my face. I'm gonna dot some on. But one thing I'm noticing is that a little bit goes a really long way with this foundation. It was a lot quicker when applying with the brush.
See, with the brush, it took half as much time. But whereas with Beauty Blender, it's taking a little bit more time to blend out. So I'm trying to add a little bit more in this area to see if I can build up the coverage. Do you guys see it? Like even though the shade is really off, it still looks very natural on the skin. Uh, with the brush, it blended out in seconds. With the Beauty Blender, it took a little bit more time than with the brush. But the blendability on this foundation is amazing. It's not heavy feeling at all. It feels ultra lightweight. But the thing is, you do get like, you know, almost full coverage. Uh, in this area, I layered it and it completely covered everything. Like all the acne spots that I have on here. I mean, they're not very stubborn, but still it did a really good job. When you swatch the foundation on your skin, it's very runny. Like at first, you wouldn't think that this foundation would have, you know, this much of coverage. But once you apply it, it's a different story altogether. Like you can see, like it covered pretty much everything. So if you have, you know, stubborn acne spots, you might have to go in with, you know, a little bit more foundation. But I feel like uh, for my skin condition right now, uh, just one pump of foundation would be enough to cover my entire face. And like I said, it feels very lightweight on the skin. So far, I'm really impressed with the formula. It feels almost undetectable on the skin, but it still gives you like great amount of coverage. Uh, I wish I had done a better job picking out the shade, but we're just gonna work with what we have right now. So I will say one thing though, if you have extra extra dry skin and if you prefer your foundations to have some hydration in them, I don't think this would be a great option. Uh, I mean, it doesn't feel drying on the skin, but at the same time, it's not giving me like any extra hydration, even with the dampened sponge. Uh, so if you have normal to oily skin types, you probably would really like the finish of this foundation because I'm really loving it. You know, it has that natural matte finish like they claimed it was gonna have. It's not overly dewy, but at the same time, it's not drying out my skin. So I really like the finish of this. Actually, you know what? I forgot to uh, check one thing. I'm just going to look at the ingredients and see if it has any fragrance in it. I have particularly sensitive skin. So I always look out for, you know, fragrances in my foundations because they tend to break me out. So no alcohol, no fragrance. My sensitive skin really likes that. So I'm going to go off camera now, apply the rest of my makeup and tell you guys how everything layers on top. But I have a feeling that it's going to do well because, you know, this kind of finishes are perfect to layer makeup on top. I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm gonna go off camera, apply the rest of my makeup, and I'll be right back. Hey guys, I am back. I finished the rest of my makeup off camera and everything blended out beautifully on top of this foundation, like I assumed, because the finish is really nice on this. Uh, there is no transfer whatsoever. The foundation still feels very lightweight on the skin. Uh, I mean, I know I've said it like a thousand times, I'll probably say it one more time that if I had done a better job with the shade, the foundation would look even better. Like right now you can see that it looks a little bit grayish in this area and in this area because you know, I'm slightly tanner on my chin and forehead when compared to my cheeks. I'm gonna say it, I like this foundation enough that I want to go in and exchange this foundation for a different shade. Uh, so far that's how much I like it. But again, uh, being said that, if you have dry skin, you probably want to use really hydrating products underneath and also top it off with a good hydrating uh, setting spray. I actually went in with my uh, Pixie setting spray. This is the setting spray I use whenever I want to add extra layer of hydration for my skin after doing my makeup. So I felt the need to use this uh, setting spray with this foundation. And I have pretty normal skin. So if you have extra dry skin, keep that in mind. By the way, before I forget, uh, the lip color that I'm wearing is a combination of these two Kylie Cosmetics a Velvet Matte Lipsticks. One is in the shade Heat and the other is in the shade Ghost. I mix them too, just to match this warm eyeshadow look. And for eyeshadows, I used my Modern Renaissance palette. I mainly used the shade Burnt Orange all over my lid and then added some definition with this darker brown color here. And added some mascara and I'm done. Uh, so that's what I have on my face. Uh, so as of now, I'm really impressed with the foundation, the finish, the way it feels on my skin. Uh, I just wish it had a little bit more hydration. Uh, but for my skin, I can totally make it work. It's been already one and a half hours since I've had this foundation on. I think I started the wear test around 10 o'clock. So now it's 11.30. Uh, so I'll probably do a mid check-in if I can. Uh, but so far, I'm really loving the foundation. So I'll see you all in my next check-in. Okay hey guys, so I'm back to my uh, midday check-in. It's almost 3 o'clock right now. And I have to say the foundation is holding up pretty good so far. I mean, I'm not seeing any oil speaking through and still no transfer. All of the foundation is still on there. It's going really strong. Uh, but one thing I will say though is that uh, the foundation doesn't feel drying on the skin. But you know, when I look up close in a mirror, uh, it looks, uh, you know, really 
kinky and trying, especially in this area. And that's probably because, you know, the obvious shade mismatch. Uh, but other than that, it's doing really well. I went back in with my Pixie Setting Spray uh, just to, you know, make it look a little bit less drying. But I feel like uh, it's not helping that much. So that's one thing that I would say. Uh, if you have dry skin, this probably might not be a cup of tea unless you like to mix in some beauty oil with this foundation. But other than that, I think the formula is pretty long wearing so far. So that's my midday check-in. I'm gonna continue with the wet test now. At the end of my day, I'll do a final check-in and share my thoughts with you all. So yeah, I'll see you all in the evening. Hey guys, I am back. Uh, it's currently 7.30 p.m. So I've had this foundation on for almost nine and a half hours at this point. And it's been four and a half hours since I did my last check-in. Uh, and I have to say, like, foundation held up really well uh, this long. I mean, it slightly started to uh, sink into my pores here and it's cracking my smile lens at this point. And it's looking a little bit cakey on my nose here. Uh, hopefully, when I do close-ups, you'll be able to see all of that. And probably a couple of bald spots here because I was really itchy and I couldn't control myself. But with the intensity with which I scratched my skin for that, the foundation held up really well, I must say. Uh, I mean, one more thing that I noticed is that, you know, uh, usually at this point, uh, my skin tends to look a little bit oily, especially when I'm using like, you know, matte foundations. But I feel like with this foundation, I'm not looking as shiny. By the way, let me tell you guys, I did not use any kind of powder on my skin, except, you know, if you consider bronzer as a powder product. But other than that, I do not have any kind of powders on my face. I didn't set my under eyes, nor uh, did I set my T-zone. So the foundation is all on its own and I feel like it worked really well. The best part about this is that it's very lightweight, uh, but it still gives you like, you know, a great amount of coverage. So if you have normal to oily skin types, I'd say definitely give this one a try. Uh, if you have dry skin types, depending on how dry your skin is, you might or might not like this unless you want to mix in some kind of beauty oil with that. Uh, if you consider that as an extra step, then this uh, foundation probably is not for you because it, it's not hydrating on its own. So keep that in mind. And right now it gets a huge thumbs up from me because I really love the formula. I love how lightweight it is and how natural it looks on my skin. And you know, the highlights are it doesn't have any alcohol or fragrance. I will exchange it for a shade uh, better suited for my skin tone because I feel like that way I will love this foundation even more. Uh, so those are my thoughts. Uh, if you're closer to my skin tone, definitely go with the shade Syracuse. If you're lighter than me, this shade will be perfect for you. So that completes this review. I hope it was helpful. If you liked it, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. It helps me out a lot. And also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I will see you all in my next one. Bye.